everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about how to use Screencastify to create a GIF for your students. You can use this to model things and show students on repeat how to do something over and over and over. Maybe there's something that they always forget to do or something that you really want to emphasize. You can also create GIFs real quick to pop into an email or to post on Google Classroom so students can access your directions quickly. For students who need visual directions, this can be a really powerful tool. First of all, you will need to have a Google Doc open. I'm going to come up here to my toolbar. You can see that I have the Screencastify Chrome extension installed. I'm going to click on it. Now, because this will be a visual on repeat without audio, I have my microphone turned off and I want it to record actions that happen within my browser tab. So I am going to click record. It will count me down. For this particular GIF, I have decided to create one that will show students how to do the MLA format in a paper heading and so on and so forth, something that they always forget. And I want to just have that on repeat for them so they can go back to that and reference as needed. I'm going to come here and I'm going to type what I want to type. I'm going to show them that the title will go here. Then I will come up here and I will stop. Here we are. Once I stop that, it will pop up in Screencastify in the place where I am now going to publish it. Typically, you might copy the shareable link, share to classroom, publish to YouTube, however you'd like to share it with students. But in the case of creating a GIF for your students, you're going to instead click on the download button and you are going to click on this last option, export animated GIF. So once I click on that, you can notice that first of all, if I make the file size any larger, sometimes if you have something that's a little bit longer, you'll see this error message and you can kind of drag it down or figure out how to trim it within Screencastify so that it meets the size limit. So then I can click export. And it's thinking down there. Has completed. You'll see a button where you can then download your GIF. From there, once you download it, it's really up to you where you want to insert it. Like I said before, you can insert it in emails to students and parents. You can post it on Google Classroom. Or if you are maybe leaving feedback for students in a Google Doc, you can add it in their Google Doc. If you are working in, um, let's say, a Google Slides assignment, you can come up here and click insert image and you can add it to your Google slide where it will then play on repeat for students. Another use for this might just be to create a fun little encouraging message to post for students that will play again and again. I like to when I post a, a new assignment for students and they're about to start writing, I like to insert a happy image. Sometimes I'll insert a GIF. Sometimes I will find uh, a pre-made GIF, but why not create your own for students to um, have your face encouraging them, giving them a thumbs up, or just an encouraging message that they will see typing again and again and again as they work on their paper. Hope this has been helpful and you are now thinking of ways that you can create your own GIFs and share them with students to help them remember the things that they need to remember.